Monomolecular wire is a type of wire consisting of a single strand of strongly bonded atoms or molecules, like carbon nanotubes. In science Organic molecular wires have been proposed for use in optoelectronics, silver is ductile enough to be stretched into a monatomic wire. In fiction Monomolecular wire is often used as a weapon in fiction. It has applications in cutting objects and severing adjacent molecules. A similar or identical concept may be called a microfilament wire or, as a weapon, a microfilament whip. Among the first references in fiction to a monofilament is in John Brunner's Stand on Zanzibar, 1968, where hobby terrorists deploy this over the shelf General Technics product across roads to kill or injure the people passing there. According to Brunner, the monofilament will easily cut through glass, metal and flesh, but in any non-strain structure the molecules will immediately rebond. No harm is done if the cut object is not under mechanical stress. An early example of a substance similar to monomolecular wire is boron tungsten filament from G. Randall Garrett's Thin Edge. Analog, December 1963. The main character uses a strand from an asteroid towing cable to cut jail bars and to booby trap the door of his room. Frank Herbert later described Shigawire in his Dune novels. First making its appearance in Dune, 1965, Shigawire is a metallic extrusion produced naturally from a ground vine found on the planets Seleucus Secundus and 3 Delta Kaising. It varies in diameter from approximately 1.5 cm down to monomolecular micronic diameters, and is notable for its incredible tensile and mechanical strength. Shigawire is able to cut through almost any material cleanly, possessing edges that are incredibly sharp. It is a weapon of choice for assassins. Monomolecular wire is a plot element in the short story, Johnny Mnemonic. By William Gibson. The assassin following the protagonist has a diamond spindle of monomolecular wire or filament implanted in his thumb, the idea being that diamond is also made of a single molecule and thus hard enough to not be cut by a monomolecular wire. The top of a prosthesis, attached to the other side of the wire, was used as a weight and the wire could be used as a whip like weapon or a garrote. Monomolecular wire in the form of wide tapes of a pseudo one-dimensional modified diamond crystal is used as the basic building material of the space elevator in Arthur C. Clarke's novel The Fountains of Paradise. Monomolecular wires are seen in the Star Wars Expanded Universe, Cyber City 080808, Hyperion Cantos, Robert J. Sawyer's Illegal Alien, Battle Angel Alida, Naruto, Akame Ga Kill, Helsing, Trinity Blood, My Heim, Vampire Knight, Simon R. Green's Deathstalker series, Alistair Reynolds's Revelation Space Universe, as well as the role-playing games Shadowrun, One Piece as Doflamingo's String String Devil Fruit and Cyberpunk 2020. Monomolecular wires are also seen in Larry Niven's Known Space Universe as human produced Sinclair Molecule Chain. In the One Piece manga, the character Don Quixote Doflamingo ate the Ito Ito no Mi, a devil fruit that grants the user the ability to create and manipulate strings. He is capable of creating strings so thin that they cannot be seen, and he can use this ability to ensnare people and control them like a puppet. His strings are also incredibly strong, being able to cut through stone with ease. Various imperial and alien technologies in the Warhammer 40,000 universe use monomolecular blades or wire offensively. 
Possibly the most notable example are Eldar warp spiders, whose death spinner weaponry traps targets in a mesh of such filaments, or the Dark Eldar shredder weapon, which shoots meshes of it. The game Chaos Overlords featured a weapon Monum Rod which used this technology. Scion Eltnum Atlasia wields a monofilament whip called the Aetherlite in Melty Blood. In the 2000 film Exchange, the main character acquires an urban survival kit which includes a monomolecular wire. Monomolecular swords are used by some Kazan in Larry Niven's Known Space series. Monomolecular Wire ranks 14th on IGN's list of the 25 coolest sci-fi weapons